Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a quick look at how to access responsive styling on various elements. Now this isn't going to be a whole deep dive into how responsive styling works on every single element, but I want to show you where you look, how you access this, and how you can use it in your design. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and add some elements to our page here. So the first thing we're going to do here is just add a column. This will be our container that we're working with for our design. And then we'll jump up to our elements pane here and let's go ahead and add in a headline and let's also add in some supporting text and we'll style this in just a moment and let's go ahead and add a button now we can play around with our style so let's go ahead and get our style looking good on desktop here this might be our h1 that we're working on and for the sake of this example maybe it's four m's in size and it is bold something like that and then our supporting text here, we want this to be our body copy. So we might do something like that. And then we have our button here and we're just going to separate this out a little bit here. Maybe we do four M's from the content and we make that button. Let's make it green. So we have something like this set up. Now, as we get down to smaller screen sizes and we're using our breakpoint selectors down here, as we get down to smaller screen sizes, this large text might start to look a little odd. So here's what we can do to address that. And you know what, for the sake of example, let's even go a little bigger on this. So on desktop, we want it to be something like this, but then when you start getting down to tablet or mobile, it starts looking a little weird. So how do we address that? Well, let's start at the top. First things first, we like this. We know we like this on desktop, so it's eight M's. When we jump down to more of a small laptop size at 1200 pixels here, not totally liking how it starts to break down. So I come over here and we can simply click on the text here that says size. You'll notice I can hover on each of these spacing, size, weight, font. If there's a hover state on these, it means you can open it up and you can begin editing the responsive styling on it. So we could even change the font if we wanted to. Um, or the weight of the font based on each of these various device sizes. But what we're going to do, we're going to focus solely on size right now. So that's this guy right over here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. It opens up our sizing here. And we are working in a desktop first environment. So everything is waterfalling down, which basically means if I were to change the laptop size here from eight to seven, you'll notice that it ripples seven all the way down. And we can see that here, right? The yellow shows us what's controlling the waterfall, and then all of the blues are inheriting the same, right? But we know that seven's probably not gonna work either, so let's go down to our tablet size here. And maybe we want that to stick to about two lines. So we're gonna come in, and on our tablet size, we'll say five, and that's looking pretty good. But then when we get down to here, we want this one, and maybe our standard mobile to just be two. So now it looks like that. And then when we go to our standard mobile, which just inherited the waterfall, that looks pretty good as well. So this is looking pretty solid. So the next thing we can do is jump into our body text here. And we might want this to uh, look bold once it gets down to smaller sizes for some reason, right? So we can click on it here. We can come down to our weight here and click on that. We find our tablet size because that's what we want to target. We go ahead and click on this here. We go down to bold and we select that. And you'll notice it water falls down. If for some reason we ever wanted to reset this, you simply click on this here and it resets it all back to the default that you have chosen. But let's go ahead and do this. Go down here, go down to bold and select. So you can easily tell when you have responsive styling applied to something because when you look at the text to the side of it, it will have this gray box around it, and that signifies that we have some sort of responsive styling housed within that. Now, when we jump down into our smaller screen sizes, nothing happens here on desktop. Nothing happens here on laptop sizes. But once we get into our tablet size, that text becomes bold. And because it's on the waterfall, it continues down to our mobile sizes as well. And that's looking pretty good. Now we can also apply the same concept to things like colors, right? So in this case, we have our button here and it is green. But when we get down to our 
smaller sizes, we want it to change into, let's say, a pink button. So we can come in here, and under background, we can then say on just our mobile sizes here, we want this to change to more of a fuchsia color, and we're inheriting that style on the mobile device as well. If for some reason on the smallest device we also wanted this to be more of a purple, we could do that as well. And now we have green, 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 fuchsia, and purple. If we go ahead and jump back over here, we can see at our desktop size it is green. On our laptop size it is green. On our tablet size it is green. On our first mobile size here, it changes to pink. And on our second mobile size here, it changes to purple. Now, that text is hard to read, so we could jump down to our text, and we could do a very similar thing where here on the text color, for the smallest size, we change this to white, and we change the interaction style to white as well. And now, we go from black text with a green button to white text with a purple button. So you're able to really get down to the granular details here simply by playing with your responsive styles. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful, and happy building.